Now it's coming at a time when we are grappling over oil, like the oil that uh, Shell uh, announced that they found a little oil. And then we are all over it complaining about Namco owning 10%. But very soon, if we are not careful, if electric vehicles take over, very soon our oil, if there is oil at all, might be of no use. Now, why am I saying this will happen? Because um, there is um, a report here from November 2020, and uh, this report is looking at what will happen, the possible scenarios uh, when uh, finally electric vehicles or electric cars take over the roads and then pushed off the road or cars that use oil, that use petrol or diesel. If those cars are pushed off the road, what will happen? And uh, China has already made moves. And you must know that China and the United States are the top largest consumers of oil in the world. And uh, China consumes 14.2 million barrels per day and the United States consumes 17.2 million barrels per day. Now, China is leading a switch to electric vehicles in emerging markets, which will save governments 250 billion U.S. dollars a year in oil imports and cut expected growth in global oil demand by 70%. So governments across the world that will um, adopt the electric car or electric vehicle they will then save a combined 250 billion US dollars a year in oil imports, and then they will cut expected growth in global oil demand by 70%. So while we are celebrating here the emergence or the arrival of electric vehicles or cars on our roads, we must also be mourning the death of our newly found oil industry. Uh, we are caught in between. Now, the question that Kelvin asked, are we late on the oil uh, game? Uh, we could be, yes, because if China is cutting down, and definitely the United States will also cut down, and then we will also have the United Kingdom following suit. So our oil will be worthless. So all the conversations that we have had here about Namco owning 10% here and 10% there, 10% here and 10% there as well, may not mean anything. Maybe now is the time to move in full steam. Now, we were also talking about Namco uh, uh, off, offloading their 5% shares in the Recon Africa uh, uh, exploration deal in Kavango. Maybe they've looked at the horizon and they've realized that very, very soon oil won't be worth much when the electric vehicles come. And we do not expect the electric vehicle, vehicle vehicles to flood our markets just like that because there's infrastructure that must be put in place and there are a lot of things that must be done before we can get them onto the roads. But we've got stories in the e-villager today about um, Namibia's move to try and put its foot on the pedal of electric vehicles is there. It's on page four of the e-villager. Once again, let me be reminding you all the time that if you are not getting your free copy of the e-villager every evening, you can send your number to our WhatsApp number 0812 004 and then we can sift it through. Now, the other thing that will be affected apart from oil are batteries because, um, you know, cars, they use batteries right now. But batteries, battery prices, according to the 2020 report that I'm sharing with you, had fallen by 20% a year. And this is um, stimulating huge new markets for electric vehicles. Now, the next few years, we'll see them fall from 135 kWh to below 100 kWh, the point at which EVs become as cheap to buy as conventional vehicles. By 2030, they will be cheaper still. Uh, this, is the for, this is the forecast that we are getting here, that batteries will be cheaper. The cheaper they become, the more EVs will become popular and very affordable for people to buy. So a lot of things will have to change here. And it's not quite certain what the future holds for us. 
but they, this change here may not come to us uh, suddenly, like COVID-19 did, but definitely the change will come. And Namibia is preparing for that. If you listened to the Simonis Storm report, Nam Namibia is also preparing for that eventuality, that when it happens, then we will have our foot right there because um, we can't be left behind. Remember that we are leaders in uh, green hydrogen and we must also be leaders here. And we are well represented with the President Hage Gengop attending the One Ocean Summit, although the fish was being washed ashore here. And we are also repre represented in uh, where he is now in France, I guess he must be there or German, if I'm not mi mixing my uh, facts right here. So it's 11 minutes past seven. So there's also something that is coming up, uh, synthetic diamonds. I think this has been uh, on our tongues for quite some time, although most people do not talk about it. But the Namibia Di Diamond Trading Company says that um, synthetic diamonds is not a threat to the sector. And you might be wondering what, what synthetic diamonds are. These are man-made diam diam diamonds that are engineered in a laboratory, and they resemble a genuine diamond. So they are engineered by people who um, are using complicated equipment. Now, the process, the technological process of engineering uh, synthetic diamonds is uh, close to the condition, conditions under which diamonds naturally develop uh, when they are underground. So the NDTC, how, however, says that um, these synthetic diamonds will not pose a threat to anyone. But I'm not quite sure because if they become cheaper and the real deal, the real diamond becomes expensive, people will opt for what is cheaper in the end. But then um, this is what uh, Chief Executive Officer Brent Aseb, the NDTC Chief Executive F Officer Brent Aseb says that lab-grown diamonds will have their place in the market. It caters for a different segment of the market. Consumers generally would still like to have natural diamonds for those special occasions when they get married or with the birth of a child. Now, according to ASAP, a natural diamond producing country, Namibia needs to understand that lab grown diamonds would exist, but how the country positions itself would be important. And in his own words, he said, a lot of the conversations have to be with the consumers. What do diamonds do in countries like Namibia? It allows the government to maintain infrastructure, build schools, and other things. From that perspective, it contributes a significant amount. So how do we make sure we tell that story. So synthetic diamonds, um, they are around, but according to NDTC uh, CEO, we shouldn't be afraid of them. But, um, well, that's it. I'm, I've never seen a diamond in my life, and I, I don't even have hopes of seeing one in my life. So maybe uh, they, but, but I know from the stories that I've heard here, People saying that the north was built by diamonds from the south. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. But, uh, well, this might be some, something that we might say, no, it's not for us because we can't afford diamond diamonds. But we need not forget that these are the same diamond diamonds that also helps the, gov the government do a lot of things for us. And um, personally, I am still worried because... Any threat to me is no minor threat. And we need not sleep and say, this is not a threat at all. You never know what will bite you too deeply. So we just need to, like what um, Brent is saying here, that we need to tell the story of Namibia's diamond. But how do we do that? How do we tell that story? And whose role and whose duty is it to tell the story of the Namibian diamond? All right, Nampawa, um, it's, it's an interesting story because according to the story, Nampawa made uh, 1.2 billion, but uh, part of that 1.2 billion is intangible. I'm like, well, if it's intangible money, what does that mean? Economists, they will understand this better.
because according to the story here, it says uh, the Namibia Power Corporation has made a profit of 1.2 billion for the 2021 financial year, but not all of it is real money though. Pushing up that profit is a 1.3 billion unrealized gain relating to a power purchase agreement. That gain allowed a net fair value gain of 1.1 billion to be run through the profit and loss, masking the not so solid performance. The company is not even paying a dividend for the 2021 financial year, despite the massive profit. Now, this is the explanation. The utilities overall group revenue has dipped from 6.8 billion to 6.5 billion in 2021, and the cost of electricity has shot up with some 200 million Namibia dollar to reach 4.4 billion. This has already eaten into it the profit, and not just that, but other key expenditures such as employee costs have also shot up, now reaching 996 million. Uh, so has depreciation, which when tallied with the recognized impairment, is the company bleeding almost 1 billion Namibia dollar. Without the 1.3 billion gain, Nampa would have made an operational loss, as it did in 2020, when a loss of 278 million was recognized from operations. In 2020, despite the loss, the company was lifted to a profit by finance income, which came in at $787 million Namibia dollar. For the 2021 financial year, that finance income sits at $600 million Namibia dollar, leading to a profit before tax of $1.6 billion and the recognition of a $437 million Namibia dollar tax expense. For the 2020 financial year, profit before tax was only $358 million and the tax expense on this was $34 million. So while it appears Nampower is making some profit, but at the back of it, uh, it's also making operational uh, uh, losses. It's a complicated story because you, you really need to understand figures. Unfortunately for me, I used to run away from uh, uh, the mathematics classes lessons. I would just disappear give a reason that I'm going to the loo and I'll never come back. Right. So um, another story here says that uh, Nampower um, imported 67.4% of power from neighboring countries and the Southern African power pool market to meet the country's electricity demand. This is an increase from 59% of the 2019-2020 financial year. So what is happening here is that uh, Nampower is not generating enough, but they are doing so well because they are importing power from other countries. Now, I must also uh, admit that of all the countries in this region, Namibia uh, experiences uh, very, very few power cuts, very few. If you look at what was happening in South Africa, and I also believe that it's still happening there, they had gone to stage four, I think, stage four and stage five, and everything else would come to a standstill restaurants and all the other things, everything would come to a stand still because of the power cuts. But in Namibia, we must be thankful and grateful that whatever and however Nampower has managed to do this, we never experience it. We, all, we always have lights on and we have everything that needs electricity on. Apart from this part of town, of course, from time to time, we have got a, a three-hour power outages. Well, maybe that happens. It has happened two times now in the uh, within two months, if I'm not mistaken, two or three months. But basically, Nampower has managed to keep Namibia uh, alight. Now, according to Nampower's uh, 2021 annual report, uh, Nampower continues to rely on regional trading partners to meet the country's electricity demand. Now, the catchment area of Roakana did not receive good rainfall during the reporting period, resulting in the Ruakan hydropower station flow averaging 93 M3. Uh, that's quite mathematical, and I'm not going to say that I might bite my tongue here. Now, uh, it's, it uh, suffices, though, to say that um, the catchment area of Ruakana, where Namibia's power generation plant is, did not receive good rainfall during the reporting period. Now, this was a major factor in decreasing Nampower's contribution to total units into the system to 24.1%,
compared to 33.4% achieved in the previous year. Now, according to the Power Corporation, the cost of imported electricity was the main contributor to the increased cost of electricity. A number of others stated that as a result of, of the various measures introduced to mitigate the effects of COVID-19, as well as the slowdown in economic activities, revenue reduced by 5% for 2019-2020, that is a 4.8% increase from $6.9 billion in the previous year to $6.5 billion for the year under review. I think I gave you those figures. So it, it, while it looks um, uh, uh, the $1.2 billion, which the Namibian says is intangible, part, part of it is there. You can actually see it in their books, but <laughs> the money is not there. You cannot even touch it. I want to believe also that you can go to the bank and say, I want to withdraw the profit that I made because it's in figures only. It's intangible. Uh, that's what uh, the story that we have about Nampower right here. Now, the e-villager, once again, uh, the sister paper to uh, Eagle FM, we have got um, uh, this story about the man, the 25-year-old man, who was arrested while driving a stolen Sito Vindu Fire Brigade Toyota Land Cruiser. The dude says that um, the, uh, he drove the car for joy, that uh, he had never driven a Land Cruiser before. So when an opportunity came and he saw his friends bring the car, he thought that he would take a test of it and then a feel of how it is like sitting uh, behind the steering wheel of a land cruiser. Now, he appeared in court yesterday at the Cathedral Magistrate Court, and this is what he said. His, his name, in actual fact, is uh, Soi Maluleke. And he said, when my friend came with the car, I was very excited to drive it. I just drove it for the joyride. That is what Maluleke told the court. Uh, and um, he also says uh, uh, that he, he drank four to five beers that day, and when the police caught me, according to him, they tested uh, his alcohol level, which was 0 0.51 grams per 100 millimeter. Uh, there is the guy uh, admitting, and of course he pleaded guilty to all the charges, and uh, he was uh, given, he is actually supposed to pay uh, let me just get the charges here. Uh, he's supposed to pay for um, driving under the influence of alcohol. He was sentenced to a $4,000 fine or eight months in prison. And he was also asked to pay $1,000 or spend four months in jail for driving without a driving license. And then he remained in custody as of yesterday. So I think he got, he got out lightly. Uh, considering the damage that uh, the Land Cruiser suffered, he got out lightly. Um, yes, of course, and he got a damaged face as well. So there's the guy uh, wishing to drive a Land Cruiser, and a friend brought one from the city of Hindu, and he thought that I could have the uh, seat behind the steering wheel for joy, and he did it. Now he has got to pay for that joy. Now, the other story that we are carrying is part two of Namibia's auction swindler, the man who has been uh, 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 taking women's money, taking advantage of them, telling them that he would want to marry them, and telling them that uh, then they must raise money. He is called the auction king because he is known in, those, in the circles of those people who go to auctions. So he would convince the women to buy the cars from the auction after he had bid for them, and then the women would pay. One of those um, uh, whose identity we are masking says that she spent more than 600000 uh buying the cars with the hope that they would settle down as a couple later on. And uh, she then had to write to the men's mother, and she was pleading with the man's mother to say, talk to your son. Uh, he must pay back my money and all the other things. Now, those who watch Netflix, I think you remember the Tinder swindler. Uh, this is more like it, close to it. And if you go through the messages and everything else that uh, this uh, dude was sending 
to these women. It's so convincing. And those who are not in these women's shoes might be sitting and saying, ah, but why would they keep on giving me money? You are so convinced and you are deep in love. And then you like your men and the promises and the sweet talking and everything else you are taken in. And of course, you can read that story in the e villager. And we will have the last part of the story today. Uh, we ran the first part yesterday. Uh, and this one here is the second part for today. And the third one, the third part is coming tonight. So you have to check it out. It reads like a movie. It reads like a movie. And I didn't, wa I didn't want to watch t the Tinder Swindler. But um, after going through these stories, I had to go and watch how it's done. It's meticulously done. And someone has to be careful because you don't have to repeat the same lie. You don't have to repeat the same lie. And I don't know how a person can do that. Double crossing. This is not double crossing anymore. Quadruple crossing women like four at the same time, and you need to know the last thing that you would have said to the last one and the last one, the last one, so that you, you are not caught lying. It needs a lot of skill. But the woman says, please, please, can you talk to your son? He is destroying women's lives. But the mother did not respond. You can get that, that uh, story. Send your number to our WhatsApp number 0812004144. And we can sift it through the numbers and then we add you on to the list. Now, the other story that we are also carrying, carrying in the e villager today is the story of uh, the Riobot woman who was accused of uh, killing her ex boyfriend's mother uh, at Riobot last year. She has denied committing the crime. That is Judy, Judith uh, Fanfake, who is aged 33. Uh, he, she appeared in court yesterday and uh, she, the case was remanded to 5 April 2022. She said that uh, she did not kill the 81-year-old Elizabeth Maria Clute. Uh, she's, she's giving information that, of course, she went into the uh, room where she was sleeping after a fight with her ex-boyfriend. But once there... Uh, she left the room and then went to sleep in their room, with the room that she used to share with the boyfriend. And then the boyfriend later came and then said to her that she had uh, beaten his mother. And an ambulance was called, and then later on, two, two days later, I would want to believe uh, Fanfake was then summoned by the police, and then he had to go and surrender herself. You can get that story. But she insists that she didn't kill the 81-year-old. In her own words, she actually said that you have to believe me. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I didn't kill Aunt Betty, she says. Another story that you can also get in the e-villager. Now, there is a body of a woman that was uh, found in the bushes decomposing by some villagers, uh, Omushi community members in Omsati. That was the body that was found on Sunday. And the police are now appealing for help to say, if you uh, are missing a family member, please come to us and then we can, uh, uh, you can help us to identify the woman who could be between 25 and 35 years old. According to the police here, that is the Omsati police spokesperson, Inspector Anna Kunga, the body was found in the bushes on Sunday at Omushi village or Tapi constituency. And uh, the inspector also said the woman was wearing an orange T-shirt, black trousers, black shoes, and long gray socks. According to the inspector, the police suspect that the victim was killed with an unknown object and the suspect left the body in the bushes that was later discovered by the community members who in turn alerted the police. Now, the, the there were tire marks or tire prints where the body was. Um, and according to the police, uh, someone might have driven uh, the body uh, and dumped it where it was found on Sunday. So if you are missing a family member, you can actually go and uh, 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 consult with the police. They need help right now. All right, uh, 7.30, you must be leaving your home. 
if you are not already on your way to work because the roads are slippery. And when you are driving, please take care. Uh, we still want you to be listening to Eagle FM like you are listening now. And thank you so much for all the support. We appreciate it. Now, the money that was used uh, from, this is from yesterday, uh, the uh, executive director in the Ministry of Health, Ben Nangombe, says that uh, so far, uh, Namibia has used close to a billion uh, Namibia dollar on COVID-19 since March 2020. The exact figure, according to Nangombe, is 956, 956, is it 956,000? 956, it's 9565366385. How do you, how do you read out that figure? All right, 956,536,385. I was just pulling off your legs there. 956,536,385. So that's close to a billion that Namibia has so far used on COVID-19 since uh, March 2020 when the virus landed on our shores. Now, according to Ben Nangombe, the cost includes acquisition of medical suppliers such as vaccines, medical equipment, recruitment of staff, and infrastructure development. Now, the amount also includes the PCR tests for suspected COVID-19 cases and transport, uh, he also said um, the government made available resources to address the COVID-19 crisis and the ministry sourced commodities within the, uh, within the available resources. Um, yeah, that's what the story says. According to Nangombe, the ministry was granted an exemption to source vaccines from reputable suppliers, adding that there has been no recorded abuses of funds. Now, the exemption, he further said, was granted to source medicines through bilateral agreements, UN agencies, and international pooled procurement bodies, such as the COVAX facility and Africa Center for Disease Control. Um, Nangombe also said the government has spent approximately 300 million Namibia dollars on vaccines with the exclusion of rollout activities. According to him, more than uh, 500,000 vaccines are currently in storage adding that since March last year, more than 1 million vaccines have been dispatched to different regions across the country. Now, he's quoted saying, we have been monitoring the usage of vaccine doses in regions, uh, and we dispatched doses based on the usage. We dispatched, we dispatched vaccines on a weekly basis, and we do follow-ups on a regular basis. That's what Nangombe says. So if you haven't um, taken your... Um, uh, vaccine, vaccination, you have to go and make sure that you have done so. And this uh, takes me back to the story where Kelvin spoke to Dr. Bernada Ofiku, who is also saying that uh, it's improper, it's unethical for anyone to force people to uh, undergo any, any form of um, medical treatment against their will. And he gave one good example where he actually said that if someone is not supposed to uh, receive blood transfusion and then they tell the doctor that I'm not supposed to receive blood transfusion and the doctor shouldn't force them because it's their choice, even if it means they are going to die. I'm not quite sure whether we can say this is the same with uh, COVID-19 because the fear that we have been raising uh, regarding COVID-19 has never been seen. Even HIV We've never been so afraid of dying the way we are so afraid of dying from COVID-19. And that is exactly why the vaccinated who are supposed to have a stronger immunity to withstand any, um, any infection, they are afraid of the unvaccinated. And it's, and it's so ironic that it happens that way. It's the unvaccinated who, if it was normal, should be afraid uh, because they are not vaccinated, they are not protected. But if you see the vaccinated being afraid of the unvaccinated, then people start having questions. And we are being told, if you are vaccinated, it means that you don't fall seriously ill, neither will you, will you end up in hospital, worse still in the ICU. So what is the fear? 
What is the fear here? But we also know from what we have been told that the vaccinated can also pass the virus on to the, unvac to the unvaccinated. So this is exactly where the whole thing turns upside down here. We are looking at something that is so ab ab no abnormal. Uh, it's like someone has got a gun, but the one with a gun is afraid of the person without a gun. So you are saying, let us all go and get guns. But you have got the gun and you have got power over me because you can simply pull that trigger. You can infect any uh, unvaccinated person. I'm not being an anti-vaxxer here. I'm just raising pertinent questions which, which must be answered. And these are the questions most people have. So what is the logic? I, I have never been con convinced by all the explanations that have been given. I've never been convinced, right? This one says this, the other one comes and says this. They are not convincing. And worse is still when then you are being told, boosty, 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 and then you are like, so what exactly? We need the truth. Someone must be um, upfront with the truth. So go and get vaccinated. Uh, if you wish. And um, and if your company says you must go and get vaccinated, you must decide. You look at your circum circumstances because if you are going to lose that job, what next? You may not get another job because you will be seen as a pariah, someone who is a misfit. So you have no power because you have to rely on others for your livelihood. So the vaccines are here with us, and I am questioning some of the things, but I'm saying, if you wish, please, you can go and get vaccine, vaccinated. Don't ask me because that's my secret, whether I am vaccinated or not. That's my secret. And it also must be your secret. Uh, I don't see why people must make a fuss of it. Uh, you go and get vaccinated, you are showing those pictures and the likes. And by the, by the look of things, people will soon be showing us their bedrooms while they are making love to their wives. And people are, because people are so proud of even some of the uh, things that you look at and you say, but these are not supposed to make someone proud. Maybe we look at life differently. But that's it. Go and get vaccinated. vaccinated. If you wish to, you have to think on your own. You have to decide on your own. Don't allow others to decide for you. Now, the issue of um, uh, fish rot, like I always say, we can never have enough of it. Uh, there's never enough of it. Now, the Prosecutor General, this has been coming a long way, uh, says that um, the Sami executives who are on the run, they must never think that they will hide. You can run, but you can't hide. Now, this um, latest segment, which doesn't sound new in any case, the Prosecutor General Marta Imarwa says um, that she has sought Interpol's help to trace Icelandic fisheries executives that are wanted in Namibia uh, in relation to fish rot. I'm not sure whether Interpol can pick them up and bring them without taking, taking them through the extradition processes. Because if they are arrested, say, in England, and then they are taken to Namibia, wouldn't that be considered as kidnapping? Because they are not citizens of Namib Namibia. Uh, they must go through extradition processes if I'm not mixing up uh, legal terms here. I'm not quite sure. But I think uh, logically and simply simplified, that could be what must be done. And then the according to Imarwa, uh, she says that um, Interpol will help extradite Icelandic fisheries executives wanted in Namibia for their role in the fish rod scandal. Now, she also said she's confident that the Icelanders who are denying any wrongdoing will be successfully extradited. In her heads of arguments, in an application by Ricardo Gustavo against the asset restraint order, the PG said there's no reason why the extradition process will not be successful or why whistleblower Joanne Stephenson will not be able to testify. Now, Stephenson lifted the lead on the bribery scandal that landed Gustavo and two cabinet ministers at the time, Bernard Isau and Sakshanga Shangala, in jail. 
the state is in the process of extraditing three Icelandic Sami employees. Uh, this is exactly what we are saying here because they've argued their case that we are not coming. And one of the questions that they asked the PG was, he, he, the PG doesn't even know where they are right now. He, that that is a, that is a fact because if she knew where they were, um, when when I talk about extra Addition, you know, what makes me doubt the PG's assertions here are very simple. The courts found Inogikamshinda guilt. Here. Here, here, here. 55, 55 minutes by flight. Why isn't the PG bringing Interpol to bring Inogikamshinda here for trial? He also destroyed jobs. He destroyed hopes. Now, we are chasing people who are more than 10,000 miles from us. And we are so convinced that we will bring them here. And why, why is it that the SME bank issue it seems to be not an issue even after the courts made a ruling? Why? Why is it that no one has been arrested to death? So, sorry for mixing things, but it's about extraditions. So what makes the PG so convinced that he can bring these three guys to Namibia using Interpol? And the PG hasn't been proactive. I'm not sure whether it's a role now to bring Inok Kamshinda or it's someone's role. So if the courts are done... If the courts find someone guilty, who takes over to make sure that those who would have been tried in, ab in, ab in absentia are brought back to save their time here? Whose duty it is? So whoever, whoever is uh, supposed to do that, to do that, to do that, they haven't been able to do their jobs well. In any case, I don't understand why Inok Kamshinda, who is here, 1,900 kilometers away from Namib, Namibia, could be tried in absentia, right? And there were no spirited efforts to rope in Interpol and bring him here. He is there. He is there. And it's, known, it's not like he's a small person who can, who can hide. Now we... And let, let me, my view here is that the PG doesn't know whether Interpol will succeed or not. Marion de Clark is there. Here by here in South Africa here. Now we are, we are chasing these guys from Iceland and we don't know where they are. And the last time was one of them who deposed an affidavit. He was in London. He was in London. He was in London. So they are moving. And you don't know because he deposed that one and the other one was in Germany. So they are moving. And even Interpol, if, if they are in Iceland and their government says, we, are not, we do not want you to come in and harass our pe people, what is the PG going to do? So this confidence here, it's false. The PG... I don't, I'm not sure whether it's the PG's job to make sure that those who were found guilty of looting the SME bank have been brought to book. They've already been brought to book. They, they, they just must be brought to, now to Namibia. And the years are piling up. This is 2022. And the people have forgotten because of fish rot. People have forgotten about the heartache that was SME bank the heartache that was SME Bank, everyone else has forgotten. Now, I will ask this again. Whose duty is, is, is it to extradite people who, who, do, who are wanted in Namibia for trial? You know, Kamshinda was not extradited, right? And he is not very far away. 55 minutes by flight, you know, about 10, 11 hours by road. Why isn't he here? And why must we believe that the Icelandics will be here? I'll be back after this. For 
only the second time in the history of this great continent, the world will witness the skills which will transform Africa. From the 28th of March until the 2nd of April, the Dome in Swakopun will host various African nations who will compete to be the best in 16 different trade categories. World Skills Africa 2022 brings together young, skilled men and women from all over the continent to demonstrate their talent and skills in a wide area of occupational areas, aspiring to the prestigious title of African champion. Join the Namibia Training Authority and the Ministry of Higher Education, Technology and Innovation in partnership with the African Union and World Skills International as we present this landmark showpiece for technical and vocational skills in Africa. World Skills Africa, 28th of March until the 2nd of April at the Dome in Swakopmund in partnership with the European Union and the German government. All right, it's a quarter to eight, and still this is unpacking the day. We look at the headlines within, beneath, beyond, without, behind, left, center, right, and we try as much as possible to make sense of most of the stories that you might come across if you decide to go and buy your paper today. I'm not sure. Why is NASFAF still un- unbundled? Why, why is it? Because we were told uh, last year that uh, NASFAF will be uh, transformed into a department. We were told. But why are they still operating like um, a state-owned enterprise? When are they going to be... Uh, because they are saying they are drowning in debt. So should this not be an opportunity for the government to move in and we throw them down to a department even a three-man department, it will do. Because what exactly do they do, apart from uh, collecting, receiving money from the government and distributing it, what exactly do they do? Now, according to this story here, uh, Nasfav says, uh, with the debts outstanding since the year of the fund's inception, the acting CEO, Kennedy Gandume, says they will show no mercy to debtors. We are making sure that we follow debt recovery protocols as required. We do not want to be caught lacking in a court of law. That is what he is saying. But the issue here could be people who are not paying. But the other issue also could be the unnecessary expenses NASFAF is incurring. Because if you get um, 500000 for a for example, and then 70% of that goes into operating costs, what are you doing? And uh, there's no way, because this is, I'm not, I'm not uh, doubting him what he is saying, that he is going to uh, go after those who owe NASFAV since the inception. I'm not doubting him. But uh, what is it that has made it impossible for other CEOs, substantive ones, not acting just like him, what is it that made it impossible for them to collect money, Right. How many graduates were uh, funded by NASFAF who can't find jobs? We need those figures. If we get the figures of the graduates funded by NASFAF who are out on the streets, it may explain why people are not paying. There are others, a, a few who are working, right? But they may not be working uh, according to the studies. Some of them... They studied for something else and the jobs that they got is about something else and the money that they are getting is not enough because they also have to look after their families and stuff. They need to pay rent. They need to do all sorts of things and there's nothing to give NASFAF. So he, he, might, he might be so convinced that he will go after those who are not paying unless he has got statistics to say he knows that 90% of those funded by NASFAF since its, in- its inception are working and they just don't want to pay. But if the situation is that 90% of the graduates funded by NASFAF are out on the streets, how is he going to collect money from people who, when they walk, their shoes are walking beside them? How are you going to collect money? Because they also want money right now. They want Europe. So this uh, overconfidence kind of thing, maybe he has got the statistics. Because he is saying, if you are spending $100,000 on legal fees to recover $100,000, obviously that doesn't make economic sense. So the fund is exploring all possibilities, such as the possibility of judgment, including legal fees. And again, I must say, if you fight a CEO and spend millions, 
fighting a CEO, it doesn't make economic sense either. So, and if you have got two CEOs who are on the payroll, one acting and one on, sus one on suspension, it doesn't make economic sense either. So, it doesn't make, so this whole thing, add, if you add them up, Nasfa doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, including Kandume himself. I don't know whether he's making sense here. Now, he must give us the figures of the graduates who are not employed. Is it 80%, 70%, 90%? And the 10%, if we are work, working with 90% unemployed and 10% employed, are the 10% employed, employed uh, earning enough? Because when they start working, remember, that these are disadvantaged, um, uh, they are from disadvantaged, previously disadvantaged families. Now, their family will be looking up to them to say, once they finish university, we will sit proper. Right? And the money they will be earning now is not enough. It's not enough. So they may not be paying. I'm not making excuses for them, but I'm looking at all the angles here. And I will ask this again. So does Kandume think that those who were there before him, uh, since in in subception, they they failed to collect money because they just failed. They didn't have a clue. Or there were reasons. So we need to look at these things here. There's a lot at play here. You can actually say, but how do you collect money from someone who can't even afford a barrel because after gradu after graduation they, they couldn't find a jo job. How do you collect money? And in any case, uh, Nasfaf, um, uh, I think this is uh, a, uh, a sign that uh, the fund shouldn't exist as a fund. Because since 2019, uh, executives have been resigning from Nasfaf. One resigned in 2019 another one in 2020, and in 2021, three left. So far in 2022 alone, four staff members have resigned. So we are saying the one in 2019, in 2020, that's two, in, uh, in 2021, three, that's five, and four in 2022. This year al alone, so we have got nine executives that have, that have jumped ship. And if you look at the Nasfaf build building there, it resembles a ship. So they are jumping ship. Because they've actually seen that, well, there's nothing working here. There's nothing working here. So this then must inform whoever has to whittle down Nasfaf to a department to act like now so that they can cut their losses. And honestly, honestly speaking, there's no reason why NASFAF must continue as a state-owned enterprise on its own because they are not making money. They can't collect any, any loans that were given for various reasons. They are not failing, but there are various reasons why the graduates can't pay. Some are not employed. So if it's a basis of 50-50, some are not employed. employed. So those who are jumping ship, they would have seen the light. Uh, this light, they are seeing it not at the end of the tunnel, but just before the tunnel. If you wait to see the light at the end of the tunnel, then you may, you may not walk through the tunnel. See the tunnel, be, see the light before you go into the tunnel. And if you carry the light from the entrance into the tunnel, you will be able to see your way through. No, not like you walk in a dark tunnel and you are like, I want to see the light. What if there's no light, light there? See the light and carry it with you. All right. And um, this one is an interesting way. Uh, this is um, according to the Namibia Correctional Services spokesperson, Sam Shalulange. Uh, he says that um, prison cells are uh, often... Let me give you the figures first of all, because I've listened to Shalulange talk. Talking is an interesting is an interesting officer. Now the story says that um, they there are more people who are saving time for rape, 
and the number given in actual fact is 743 who are saving time for rape in Namibia's prisons, right? And uh, of these 743, 873 are behind bars for murder. There are some who are saving 743 are for rape, 873 for murder, and only three are saving time for corruption. Is it that people are not being arrested for corruption or the people are not corrupt? Now, this story says that 13.8 million is being spent on feeding offenders. I've been saying here, Instead of keeping those people getting fat while sitting on their bums in the pre prisons, they must go and work. I know the correctional services has got farms. And, and did, did you see how fat the guys who are appearing for the fish rod are? It's, it's, like, it's like they are living a normal life. So they must work. Well, maybe if they are tried and then sent to jail, yes. There is what was used to be called hard labor. If you were said five years with hard labor, oh, and then you knew. I never went, went through it, but I read about it and you would suffer. Because wherever you were going to work, the prison warder will have this dog. And the dog knows that you are not supposed to straighten up, right? If you are if you, if you are weeding, right, the moment you straighten up, the dog is trained that when you straighten up, it comes for you. So all day long, your back is bent, you are weeding. Whether you are weeding for real or you are pretending to weed, you must have your back bent. So we cannot have people, now 13.8 million, this money could have been used for uh, the e-learning. So you arrest people, you sentence them, they go and eat food for free. They go and live for free. No, no rent, no nothing, electricity and water. And then the taxpayer pays. They must work and produce food. And they, these are guys can produce food that can be exported. You know it. China, I will say this again. Most of the guys, if you see Chinese guys walking in a group, it's not because they are friends or family members. <laughs> they are prisoners. So no, no one must leave the group. They must, work as a, they must walk as a group. And if you look closely when they are walking as a group, there is a prison warder there. And these are guys who are coming to work here. Instead of them being allowed to sit and eat and get fed, they must come and make money for China. So they will be sent here as a, rehabil as a rehabilitation. So you might be wonder wondering how they are rehabil rehabilitated once they are here. They will be working and earning money. And the money, they don't get paid the money here. The money is paid back home. So when they are done with their sentences here, they go back to China to find money in their accounts. They won't have any reason to misbehave. Again, and what do we do? We arrest our people and we think we are punishing them. How are you punishing someone, someone who is eating food for free and we end up paying 13.8 million? All right, and 4,087 4, individuals in prison right now. If you break that by gender, 3,969 3, are men and 118 are women. Now, over 1,500 prisoners are fully vaccinated. That's an interesting word. They are fully vac vaccinated, but on a very serious note. I think we need to rethink this. There are people who are committing, you know, small nyana crimes who end up there. Like this a guy who just felt he needed to have a feel of how a land cruiser is. He will, if he doesn't have money, you will go and save time, right? And I know there's community, community save service here, but I don't know how that works. But in other country, countries, it's a very big deal. So can't we come up with all these things where we can make use of these guys? 0832 come on. I'm out for now. If 
we were not about you, we would not have done our best to offer you a rich portfolio of benefit options that will help you to enjoy the best healthcare at all times, from dental to critical and beyond. But we are about you, so we did. NHP.com.na, we are about you. Eight o'clock on the dot. Very good morning to you. Morning, morning, Walter. Yes, good morning. How are you? Fine, 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 fine. Yes. How are you doing? No, I can't compl- complain. The weather is very kind. Yeah, it's very well, kind, very uh, kind and understanding. And I think today we have a sunshine. Mm. It's like uh, it's coming out a bit. Yeah. We've been longing for it. Yeah. And uh, we thank God for that. Uh, it is promising. Mm-hmm. F- finally, we, we are underwater. I just don't know uh, what happened with our nectar dam. Mm. It is still, you know, the, the ice is still on us, watching us. It is saying, me, I'm poor. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> uh, yeah, Wanda, your, yeah. your last point, very, mm. very much worrying. Uh, I, I moved around Vanaheda one time to Vanaheda police station. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I saw this, uh, you know, because of the rain, the, the weed is all around, the grass is all around. Mm. And they took out to this uh, community policing, this volunteer, to come and clean. Why they are having the doodle inside there? Yeah. Instead of taking the doodle inside the, the, the cell, the holding cell there, and making them to clean. I, I mean, you are still using the people that are... I, I don't know why, what do we want to to do. Mm. But uh, in our time, during South African time, that when you are in there, you know you are there for work. Yeah. Whatever is needed to be done, they will take you out, they make sure you are protected, you are guided, mm. and they are going to make you to save, to do. You are not just there to eat. And the, us, we, we want to feed the people for free. We are giving everything for free. Yeah. We want to spend even when we have nothing. Uh, the the point of uh, what is day the mm. fish the fish why can't we, why do we only look at the one side of events why can't we look at this maybe it's the way God want to feed the people mana <laughs> is, is it not he done it before he have done it before he always cause a wind to blow to offshores and the people they eat mm. and what is by it has been a a, a form. Yeah. From time to time, it happened like that. A fish comes out, people they eat. Mm. Now, imagine you are telling the people you are going to to do the analysis and examination why the thing are rotting. Because the are receiving the sun, they can't reach it tomorrow. And the, your examination result cannot come today. Mm. I mean, I, I, what do we think? We know already there's no contamination. It's a phenomenon that used to happen around that time. We know it has been, you know happening again and again, interpretation of things. Mm-hmm. But we just want to, to, to serve our own people. Let us uh, thank God for providing for us. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the issue of uh, oil exploration, yes, we are late. And I, I, I think, Wanda, mm. to look at these things, the Westerners, the moment the white person, you think, giving you something, allowing you to do something, mm. you know, he has concluded already, it's done. The, he have done his calculations, the mathematics, like the brother used to say. He have made already his mathematics. Mm. He know already there's nothing for you there. You are not going to go for very long. We are, it's the end of oil things. End right. of oil things. We are at the end. And the MRT of sellers, MRT of sellers or no, that in his tendency, mm-hmm. and they are saying, you know, people, it's the wrong information that the people are given the wrong stuff. Where are they with the right information? Where are they? Why can't? Why is it that they are too information not capturing the heart of the people? I mean, they must examine themselves. Are they telling the truth or they are telling the right? Because sometimes you think you are speaking and you are thinking you are telling the right information, mm. but in the reality we are also able to see and analyze yeah. that you are telling me mm, not convincing me. Okay. Even me, I'm not convinced by what. The people are t- talking about vaccination. But you go and get vac- vaccinated, though. 
is that is my secret right. my thank brother. you so thank much thank you very much <laughs> you're right <laughs> all right zero eight three two two eight four zero one zero eight three two two eight four zero one I would want to encourage people to think for themselves. Don't um, well, the government will urge us to do things, and uh, if it's um, if it's uh, within the ambit of the law, yes, let us do it because we can't break the law. We have to do to do it, but that doesn't stop us from questioning if we have got uh, grey areas that we want light to be shed on. Good morning. Morning, Wanda. Yes. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Yes. Uh, actually, I don't have anything to say, but I just found the the, the WhatsApp uh, WhatsApp number zero eight one zero eight one two double zero two double zero four one double four four one double four. Thank you. Wanda. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. There we are. You can send to our WhatsApp number, uh, and we will add your number onto all the numbers that we have. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Uh, I want to comment about this. Uh, uh, I was I was listening to the to, to interview of uh, uh, during the the, the Kevin program. Mm. I was listening to this coming what the Swapo Swapo women cancel us. Yeah, the Swapo party women is cancel Congress. Uh, and, and they are ended anyway. Listen to the maybe the candidate you want to. Participate, mm. but uh, the mo- the moment the candidate was asked the question there, we asked, did he know what is the cause of of, of, what, of domestic violence? There, he never went there. He never answered the question straight. Why is he, is he just uh, doing what, around? What what what, uh, what, uh, what answer were you expecting? I was I was expecting him to see see, see, see we know what, the, what, what where we are we are going to. To, to do what we are going to do with this domestic, it is coming from this. Is, if it is poverty, it is poverty. Or if it is uh, this alcohol abuse, alcohol, then it, we, we face it there. Where, where is this from? Are, are, are you it, talking the question about the Chinese? No, see, 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 no, the, 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 the uh, uh, former mayor was asking mm. what, what, see, 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 what is she, see, what is she, don't know, see, she know about the, the, the domestic violence, what is the cause of it? Mm. And how will she will how will she 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 do mm. she, she she will be given that that opportunity? Okay. Now let me let me ask you ask you ask you this. What what causes GBGB? The GBGB is caused by something by like like what we said. If it's, if it is poverty, poverty, maybe they could do they could do check if it is poverty. If it is uh, alcohol abuse, which is no now is a lot of uh, bars everywhere, mm. every mm. street, mm. and we should go and. Uh, do research, you find out what is the cause of this GBV. Mm. And then from there, if you know, it's like somebody you are just on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, mm. and then you look in the, in the, in the sport field where you see somebody's tired, and they've mm. show, say, showing that, no, this one is tired, therefore we are not scoring the, the, the goal mm. because of this one. But then they are just outside. They see what is going on in the, in the field. But somebody should say, let, let us replace they don't know whom should they replace, and the why they are going to replace there. That is coming because now what is the point is that she have experience, okay. but the point is she has. Mm. But mm. what she will do, she says. Okay. What will she? What, what is she, she will do? And then the the, the answer of this uh, uh, increasing of, of gathering of this from the Ministry of Health yesterday. Mm. Uh, the Ministry they are now increasing that from ten two hundred. To, to 500 yeah. gathering. Mm. Why they don't know? What is easy? They, they, they done nothing yeah, until now. They, they never done anything about the corona. They, it's like what I said. You need to drive your car. Me tell you, while, while you're in the road, the car switch off itself. After, after a few minutes, the car started itself. Who do you drive with that car with confidence? You expect the, the, the switch off again. Because now, if you see the... the, the the, 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 the corona rising mm. up. Mm. We don't know what is the cause of this. And then from if it, if it is going down, we don't but, know what is the cause But don't you think that we we just need, if if uh, COVID starts uh, going up again, then we come down to two two and 200. And if it goes away like it has gone away now, then we also go up. Whether we know much about it or we don't, but we cannot just say, 
because we don't know what COVID is and we don't, we don't know when COVID is coming. Can't we just adopt that attack tactic? When it's quiet like this, we move too fast. And when it comes back and then we slow down without us worrying whether we know it or we don't because no one knows. Don't you, th- don't you think so? Eliezer? Okay, I think I missed it. All right, 10 past 8, 083 Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. Yeah. yeah. On the issue of Nasfaf. Nasfaf, yes. Gaddafi. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's Gaddafi. Yeah. Mm. The, 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 next, the first mistake they made is when they removed that uh, fund from the Ministry of Free Education. Mm. So, look, as I'm always saying, we are treating a lot of uh, useless uh, parastatas. That was single you better when it was under the ministry. Imagine at that time it was just a division, but mm. it was catering for more students than now. Look, imagine the, the moment you, you let it became a, a, an institution on its own, most of the money which were allocated were going to operational costs. Mm. Yeah. So paying electricity, paying what, what, and they did that a big, big office at Eros and so forth. I've been, I've been inside that office. That office is it's like a state house. So look, and now the money that is allocated instead of funding for the students, it was mm. going to the salaries of, uh, of the employees they even again because they were getting millions of, of dollars instead of uh, uh, being just the ministry and the, 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 the workers they are uh, that fund uh, being paid by the ministry. Mm, but yeah, whose but uh, whose idea was it, was it to uh, uh, make it uh, an S O N S O E? Well, I know it was. Uh, a but someone you know, must have gone to parliament to say, let us uh, do this. Yeah, precisely, he should be the former minister of education also. I don't know who, who then. I cannot mention the name. I don't know specifically mm-hmm. who, who can be, who is accountable. But uh, that's what happened. It's a mistake, and I'm, bet, I'm happy that it's going back to the ministry. It could have been directly upgraded to the department under the department, the, direct, the deputy director of the deputy. All right, again, I, I'm lost that one. It's 083-228-401-083. It may not have been a bad idea, though, to have uh, NASFAF as a state-owned enterprise, but it's what NASFAF was made to become. It may not have been a bad idea, but it's how we dealt with it, how we handled it. Good morning. Morning, Tata Wanda. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Uh, we are doing fine. Mm. I'm here at the PG. Yeah. If the PG have got nothing to say, she better uh, keep quiet because uh, you cannot tell us you want to get the Icelandic men while you are letting or you are leaving uh, all these companies like Sisana Manges and others are uh, operating and then like yeah, we do have guy here in South Africa. What is so difficult for them to get those guys? Why and why are you why are you bringing Caesar's name again? No, I'm saying the company itself. Is it not, is in, is the, 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 the money where the, we do have companies where the monies have gone through. Mm. And we, they have to be mentioned. But I think I to, think the PG without 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 speaking on On her behalf, I yeah. used to have this a similar quest, question, but the PG explained it so well to say yeah. that those who were engineering the war money issue, right, mm-hmm. are the ones mm-hmm. who committed the crime. They are wanted mm-hmm. because they engineered, not those. I, I, I'm not quite sure whether we can also, because the issue of Sisisa, if we start it now, ne, this mm. whole program will be CISA this, CISA that, CISA this, CISA this. But this has no. got nothing to do with him because he is not wanted on this one here. Maybe he's going to testify. But now to keep on saying, why is CISA being left out? Why is CISA being left out? The PG has made a decision already. Uh, you can also say the same about, about George Wannis Stefan, Stefan, Stefanson, right? He's the one who, yeah. was, who was hunting down people. But he turned yeah. a state witness. 
right? Yeah. And this is one of the arguments these guys are saying. He is also a criminal just like us. Yeah, no, no. He, All right, he's just, a just a hang on there for me. Just hang on there for me. We'll okay. be back after this. Okay. There's no such thing as destiny or fate. There's only potential and what you choose to do with it. We chose to show up. We chose to put in the work. We chose to unlimit our potential. And tomorrow, we will continue to show up, to put in the work, because limiting our potential is not an option. All right, Michael. Yes, no, he's mm. a criminal, and we're not saying that they, he's not a criminal, but we, are, we want to, if the court wants to conclude this case, mm. they must put everybody involved and testify. So who is, go, who is going to be the we, we witness then? Sorry? Who is going to be the witness? witness? Who's going to be the witness? Mm. The state. Okay. Yes. I think, I think uh, uh, we need to, to, to put everything together so that we can come to the conclusion of this fiscal piece. We cannot just, because like that, it's like we want to make long end while we know that there are also people around us here. And they need to, to, to come and, 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 and clarify and, and make sure that they clear their names because they have been, in, they have been involved in it. But, but uh, because I know when, when Sisa's name comes in, like you have brought it in now, it won't end here. I have seen no, Sisa's no, uh, affidavit not... and uh, yes, we eh? shared that affidavit, affidavit here. And if you remember where we were sharing these affidavits here, just uh, why you still insist that after the PG has made the uh, ruling that CISA must be arrested, I don't know why. No, I'm not saying he must be arrested. Mm. They must go to come and testify and make sure that... He will be, I think. He will be. He will be. When? when? But the trial hasn't uh, started yet. <laughs> yes, you know, the trial didn't start yet, yeah. but... They let all these operations uh, going on with the, with, the, with the people who are in the case. Mm. People who are in the case, they are still op- operating freely. But they even even the city know that those are the companies that facilitate this issue. Okay, so so you so you so your point here is that um, people whose companies were mentioned, including Swapo Party, must close down. They must close down. So it's if Swapo exciting. Party closes uh, down, what then will happen to the Swapo pre- president, president? He must go. Maybe he's also included. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> all right, you have a present <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you call oh, that? Uh, no. But uh, look, we, we, te- we tend to stress ourselves over some of these things. The PG explained it. She knows law. We we don't we don't know. Maybe maybe those who know law out there they can come in and explain this. There are a lot of people who got this money. Uh Vainong Pondoka also got the money. And uh Alma Samkui also got the money. A lot a lot of people got this money. So we will end up saying, Well, bring them all and let their companies close down. Guys, are we not stretching it here? We seem to be stretching it too far. Good morning. Wanda. Yes. How are you? Good morning. Mm. How are you? No, good. How, how is the morning? The morning is very kind. Okay, look, the mm. NASA issue. Yeah. Is a new guy that is making this high, I hope, about what collecting money. Yeah. Look, if I remember very well, one time upon this uh, program, there was a caller that came out to say there, there were those of people that wanted to pay, but they assisted. They had even to go beg them for them to pay, but mm. these guys, they were not having a proper system. You see, ne? for this guy can't make noise here, he must make sure that he's helping in order. Yeah. He don't just come and make this political statement like this. Mm-hmm. Look, ne? like you are saying, ne? if this guy could get and collect statistics, hmm? if he can co- collect and find out how many people that were given loans, how many of those people are working and how many of those they really got a job of what they said? Because a lot of people are doing, but they are just doing 
other things that they don't even study it for. Yeah. Yeah, you understand. And then mm. seriously, people that are given these loans, they both of them they really don't have money. And for for Nasfaf to come out and he, and make noise while they have somebody who is home doing nothing and getting paid as much as hundred something k, don't you find that useless? Don't you find it like I don't know? Look, eh, these people that are, are so called educated, dumb cop, they are very busy draining this country and think it's just under the ground. Why do they come out and say all these things like this? Look, they were supposed to, 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 to terminate the, that, that contract of that lady. Terminate the contract and pay the, that, 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 that person off. Why would you have somebody that is getting paid for doing nothing and now you want uh, to come and threaten people here? Uh, terminate the contract. She won it. You play with the sister, you. She won it. No. <laughs> why, why, why do all these people go and hide behind Sisa? No, because he's a good lawyer. He's a good lawyer. Ah, he come gets on, people because, out. Because, because, no, oh, we are, we are, we, 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 you see, eh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't know. Are we really brainwashed or what is it now? No, 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 it's not even brainwashed. It's a fact. It's a fact. Because we are letting, it. And, 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 and this guy is even uh, linked to Fish Road. And still, because the people that are really run and go behind and hide behind him is this this mm. couple of people. Why do they always run and go hide behind society is the only no, no, no but no but no but we are stray we are straying away from the NASFAF issue here. What no, exactly they, was they, your point about <coughs> NASFAF? My my issue with NASFAF before whoever is there, I think is the is the guy new that, that make made this this noise mm. about him he is new ne? And, yeah, he's, and, he's and acting, yeah. Oh, he's acting. Mm. Okay, now now I see why why he's making that noise. And 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 and, and you said the 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 executive has been designing extra right and right. Nine and since twenty nineteen. Nine so far. Nine. Yeah, this year alone four left. There, there's some there's something is wrong. Somewhere. Why can't we just eliminate that? Why can't we just come up with something else? Let's uh, let's just scrape off NASFAF. No, it's, it's not something wrong. Something wrong is that the port is empty. There's no oh, porridge and, anymore. Oh, and now they want to drag the porridge from uh, the people that don't have anything. <laughs> right. Why do you? Why we want to take from people that are and 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 the and the and the, and the PG is talking of uh, 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 what uh, what uh, linking up with now uh, what? Interpol, mm. go came to go get these guys. Mm. They must first go get Kamshinda here. They must not go, go, if they think we can. They must first get Kamshinda, who is just around the corner here, or the guy that runs to Africa here. Mm. Then that's when we we'll see that they are serious. If they are only talking here, guys like Craig is around the corner here, we can even hire an investor and go get him. Now they are talking of people that are in Iceland. How are they going to get them? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Let us let us give let us give you the benefit of doubt. But while giving you the benefit of doubt, uh, personally, I would challenge you that um, she must um, because because when you are, are looking for mangoes, ne, and there is yeah. one that is close to you, if you want to get the one that is at the top of the tree, there must be something wrong with you. While we while you are leaving the one that you can reach. So you start with the mango that is close to you before you can go to the one that's at the top of the tree. So what the PG is trying to do here is to reach for the mango that is at the top of the tree. And the one that she can get, uh, she's, she's, she's ignoring it. Because I think SME Bank and uh, Fish wrote same, same. Six okay. and, and nine. Quickly on the issue, and quickly on the issue of uh, what this uh, the, the 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 Swapo Women Council or something like this. Yeah, I heard there was somebody who was asking. They cannot even answer questions. Simple question. <laughs> Someone like who? <laughs> Just give they, us a they name. Say they, they, they say the lady that was questioned to well, over over why why are they so the why is GBV? <laughs> no, it is the former is the former mayor Francina Kaungo. If you if you don't know her, she's very careful with what she says. And I don't think that uh, she failed to answer, but uh, she measures what she says. 
Remember oh. that this is polit polit politics. What uh, she says will then be used against her. So she's okay. very calculative. She measures every word. And this is why when she speaks, you think she is reading a written script. Okay, let's just hmm. hope the PG will get the, the, the <laughs> other right. people that Hopefully. we talking about. Hopefully yeah. so. All right, thank okay. you so much. Now, talking about NASFA, remember that they engaged, that was um, in 2018, they engaged a company called uh, Tribesmen to collect funds, uh, the students, or NASFA, NASFA, and they paid that company $7.9 million to recover debt. And uh, in the process, NASFA lost that money, trying to recover debt. Now, they had to pay $7.9 million uh, for debt recovery, and they lost the $7.9 million. I think this was one of the issues that were used to suspend Hili and Iwete. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, good, good. Mm. Uh, let, let's, let's, guys, let's be honest, really, for if this fish rod story, mm. it looks like now, these people, they just were taking the fish rod. Mm. Okay, if they are honest, they are honest for the, the fish rod. Anyone you mention him in the Swapo Party, those people, let's say, the man in Swapo Party must be arrested. Everyone is mentioning there. You cannot tell me if you're a criminal robbing somewhere, mm. then they find one, they have to look in other, isn't it? It's not like that. I, I, no? didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't quite get your, ex, your example. I say, okay, people were robbing. Mm -hmm. Then when they robber in, they get some. Okay, when they get some, then not only they run away. Mm. They have to look in them to arrest, to arrest them, isn't it? Why for fish rot now? Those people missing him, all of them, they arrest some, but the other one, they still remain outside. So but now who, you tell who has not been arrested? The man is going for swap of parts. What they say. They go for swap, but not for the party. If someone take the money there. Who is that one sending the money out? So what What exactly do you want uh, to be done here? I want everyone mentioning it must be arrested. It must Just, be like that. If, Just like even, that. Even the lawyer, the one the money is going for, his trust. No matter if you're a good lawyer, it's will what? If mm. you're doing things, dead things, it's dead money, we cannot call you. Everyone, you think that man is for criminal system, be arrested. And to go for Iceland or where? They is so far there. The crime is just in South Africa. Come see this here. But what type of corruption are they fighting for? This is protecting for corruption. Doesn't make sense. Okay, my second point is this. Um, the prisoners. Mm. With, with agriculture is dying in the country. Why are they not taking a prisoner to go and work there? Mm -hmm. And then even maybe they give him even maybe 200 a month. So as long as they do something. To yeah. get food in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank so you helping so much. Namota, so helping mm. Namota, we still got to our city is closing there. My mm. city is closing home there. I got the water meter in my house in Ombaranu, Oname. Still the water is not running. Mm. Of, I think to go for five years now. Okay. Yeah, we suffered. This. I, I, I've actually heard you talk about your dry tapes. Every opportunity that you get to call, you talk about it. What's yes, happening? Yes, I'm ready. What's, what's, no, what you know, you know, one thing. Mm. These people, they only bring water in the school. Where the um, water meter is coming in the school. Even the school in Wandeka, the water is not running there. Mm. But we all be told this is press every day. It's only the press will be told this. Long time when the water was. For the beginning, when his water is the same as he was bringing that water, the water was working 100%. Mm. Then, that if hunger is coming, the water starts working sometimes, sometimes. Then when hunger is coming, the water is no more running. There. But they only bring water at the school. We have, those, those people with have water is coming to the school. Mm. We, don't, we don't receive the water. We're starting digging. We're digging. The, you need to send no money. Your mom is old, and you all need to buy water. <laughs> all right. Thank you so yes. much. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Now the way he talks, he comes in his car room, then he picks up tempo and speed. Then you know it's happening. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. Yes, good morning. How are you? 
Well, man. Mm. I'm fine this morning. Yeah, nah, you let me touch the thing of the fish here in Wavespire. You see, mm. I'm not bathing in anything while I'm blattering. I, I, I was there, I was there hundreds. I know it's them that are dealing with the things there, eh, but I know those fish, they run in search of oxygen because someone is doing something underneath the sea. You understand, my brother? I went into that water. Mm. There is a mud, there is a mud, black mud there, my friend. Grease, black mud there, up to the knee. That shallow water. Where we were calling, so the, water, to so the water is dirty. The, no, the water is not dirty. Mm. The, the, the underneath is mm. dirty. Okay. Under, under the water. The water is only it can only get dirty if you walk. Okay. If you stay. walk, you can see. Your, if you look behind you, you can see the black uh, pest following you. You can see yourself how how you how you walk. You know what I Mm. Because mm. because you disturb the the, the, the that mud. It's the, either they are they, they are they are extracting oil or they are they are searching for that thing that they said they want to search in the sea. My brother, I have, I, I can, you can do your research. Mm. Just go in the side of the, you know the side of the, the salt salt pen. Eh? Mm. Mm. We were there. We were there trying to get those fish. People were getting fish in that mud there and then that water, that shallow water. Because where the fish was. Mm -hmm. It's not a sea, it's just uh, a pen. You understand, eh? And then the water now from the sea, it used to fresh that side. Yeah. Yeah, and the fish now, they come out. So it's pollution. Pollution. It's pollution, my brother. Pure pollution. It's, there is nothing uh, what these guys are talking about. They must stop doing those things, man. But did you, did you catch any fish? Yeah, I did catch. I did catch this, bro. And you even <laughs> and you even ate it. Yeah, what is wrong with it? And I'm not dead until now, and I'm not dying even. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, they must stop polluting right. the water, man. They are polluting the water. Is it this, this? This you must approach these people. Mm. They must stop doing whatever they are doing. Otherwise, we won't, we won't have fish. You know, I see again, fish yeah. that will run away from us, and yeah. then they'll start dying like that. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. We need our process, man. Thank you, my brother. All right. There you are. You just made me laugh there. Now he's uh, not even sick, or maybe, maybe you never know. Good morning. Well, I'm back for, for, for a few, few seconds. A quick one, yes. Uh, let me talk about the uh, corruption statistic. I mean, I mean, this is curious statistic. No, and this one, this is statistic of 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 GDV. This is rape cases, the seven hundred, and then the 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 murders is eight hundred, and yeah. then for 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 corruption, only three cases. And then we said our our anti-corruption is 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 effective, it's working. For, but for but who do you want? them to arrest if people are not being corrupt. People must corrupt they just go and arrest people me. because the numbers must be up at the... Should they be doing that? <laughs> no. We see everything here, but the things are turned away by the PG. <laughs> we saying, no, that one is not qualified for, for, for prosecution. It's only them who are doing it. Therefore, you see the law. And if you see, if you compare the 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 the, the length of the Namibia, we are at the forty nine now. Mm. And the corruption in Namibia is the only three cases who is been in in prison. What is that? It's not corresponding. Therefore, we, we, we that is that that that, that anti corruption commission is 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 useless. Yeah, when this come to see, uh, it's you, you, how do you justify that? You are justifying that by saying. Because there are only three people saving time for cor corruption, therefore anti-corruption is useless, useless, useless. Is that a fair j j judgment? It's a fair judgment because it's, you see anti-corruption. When anti-corruption comes in... in so in, you, in, want, you want them to go and arrest people if people are not being corrupt? Just because well, we the numbers must go here, up? In, in, in here, here, mm -hmm. at the ground, we see corruption is happening. Yes, and the do you do you, do you report? Do you report report it? If you report it, they will take it away. They said it's not. It's no, not but a have you reported it before and it was uh, dismissed? 
No, mm. but I, me, me as a person, I never report it, but I saw somebody who's also reporting the case. But you see things are happening. So you are so saying, you, you, no, 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 you, you said you see it. Now, my question is to you and not the other person, because the other person becomes a third, um, a third uh, party here. I'm asking you specifically, of all the corrupt activities that you saw, why didn't you report them? No, you see, because, well, because I, I, you see, I surrender myself. When something is happening to me, then I went to the police there. They said, no, it's not a case. It's not a case. No, but... It's did, not did, even still my you, things, my money there, and the evidence. But I if, the evidence nobody, the but if someone there. steals your money, Eliezer, they are not being corrupt, it's theft. I theft, just but, want but, you but, to justify. You go to the police. I but want you to... If you go to the... Yeah. If you if I report it to the police, they mm. said it's not a case. So well, what what if I report a, a corruption case? What, what will they say? But it, take, that's but what it, we, we have no name of that case which you are reporting us. Uh, but what it, is telling us? You don't did know you what, try? What, what do we give the name? Did you try? I tried many things. I to tried ACC. my level best, but ACC. I failed. Therefore, I lose trust in our police officer. It, and then Lisa, from there, to be mixing where, here. I'm asking oh. you specifically about the ACC because you are, you didn't say the police are useless, but you said the ACC is useless. And this is why I'm asking you to justify that. You don't have to oh, get oh, away uh, with that kind of what, what, claim. Why, 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 why are we missing things here? Yeah. Uh, uh, anti corruption commissioner, uh, this uh, general, hmm. he is the, one, he's the commanding officer. And uh, this, uh, this general inspector mm. is the commanding officer for arrest to, to be people arrested. Even if it's <laughs> corruption, it's them. Of it them. Is, they're, they're, therefore, it is. It is. Uh, it is uh, what, I, what, what? I, I, think, I think your one minute is over. Eh? Good no, let me talk about no, this. No, goodbye. Let me goodbye. talk about this. Uh, let me give others an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you came for the second time. All right, goodbye. 24, 23 minutes tonight. No, guys, let us be sure that when we come in, we talk about what we understand. Making these wild claims, it makes us appear as if we don't understand how things work. Honestly, guys, we just not call because we can call. Let us call because we want to say something. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Very fine. Yes, thinking. Yeah, I think it is. Mm. Yes, Where yes, exactly uh, are you this this morning? Um, just wait now. Where? Uh, in, in Ituago. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, El Elias is right. Okay. Did you know what, uh, when it came on the official order? Why is he right? It's right eh, because it's, it, the, the way we see the, how the Kanyanga was giving this uh, testimony or this evidence in the court. Mm. Yeah, it is showing like uh, uh, this uh, anti collapsing is useless. Like me, let me say, like, can you see Swapo? They are seeing Swapo get a fund there from the, the anti fiscal. But uh, in, instead of even asking who, who, who uh, how, let much, how much money, how much money, by the way, did the Swapo get? Can I, for the first time, they were saying 15, 15, uh, 15 million. And yeah. then again, now on the on on the uh, evidence now on 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 the uh, investigation for Kanyangela now is saying it's forty it's around now forty four million days. Mm. But he, but who who exactly got that money on behalf of the yeah, party? Yeah, that is the thing that Mata Kanyangela is supposed to find out. Who, who got that, that that money and who, who argued to get that money from Fisk? Mm. We want because those money cannot go to Swapo. We thought no one asked it from Fisk there. It's where there's a problem. That's, that's why we, we said anti corruption is useless because they, don't, they try to, to give those money for those. There's someone who has that money to go, to, to go and fund their campaigning and whatsoever. But uh, look, it's, uh, the person who gave you that figure is mm. a chief investigator with the anti corruption commission. The same, yes. out, the same outfit that you are saying they are useless, useless. How then can they be useless when you are using the figure that they gave you? Okay, how can you got the money while you don't know? You, you, got, you got the finger that song, figure that song that you have, you have this money, you coming from the fish road, going, to Schwapo, going on the Schwapo account or whatsoever, but you don't know who, who bring it there. 
it means the money went it, uh, uh, itself there. Yeah? So, that is a but, do you believe, but do you believe uh, uh, Andreas Kanyange, Kanyangela when he said um, that 44 million went to the ruling party? Do you believe him? I mean, I will believe in it because you know more. So you are believing happen. someone who works for a useless com commission? Well, you don't you know where the useless is coming? It's mm. coming uh, to have money which is nowhere coming from. That book is the money then uh, nowhere coming from. That is the thing they are asking. Uh, money cannot come themselves. Mm? He must not only get the money. He didn't get those transactions from where it's coming. How is the money got it? It's, it's the thing that we're supposed to bring also in the quarter, that one. All right. All right. Thank yes, you so much. A quick one. Uh, 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 the quick one I want to touch on the on the change because the other day you don't want me to go there. On the what? On the church. Mm -hmm. you, you, did you know that in the church, in the mm. church, some of us, we enjoy them and, and we like them because they go there and, and enjoy them like they're not going to the bar. But if this police officer, they are going to to to, settle, to, to, to cross this this um, uh, 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 this this churches. Mm. It's like going in someone's right. In, 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 that is that is not it's, it's not fair. It yeah? depends. My right for going to church everywhere on the church way. Where, where, where is it now? So what what is it that you enjoy exactly? Just we, like we people in the bar. Yeah, those churches, they are having drum, they are having everything. You go there, you go and enjoy your drum when you came, no more stress. Uh -huh. What is a drum, by the way? The drum, those music. gospel, they, 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 we dance those gospel music there. Oh, so you go to dance. Everything, we go for the, for the, for the, for the, for the voice of God and those are like, everything you go, you find is there. Hmm. So that people, they don't maybe go, they only pass by inside, instead of going inside the church. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there we are, 83 one Talking about the Swapo Party Women's um, Council, uh, the, the story that I have here says that uh, five uh, districts, that is from the Zambez region, as well as uh, Ochezonjupa, Omaheke, and Omsati, will not be allowed to attend the elective congress of the Swapo Party Women's Council later this month. This is after the structures failed to hold the primaries before the agreed deadline, which would have elected delegates to the Congress. And this uh, Congress was supposed to have been held on 7 December last year, but it didn't take off. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Wanda. How are you? I'm very well. Yes. I'm glad that you have elected the, the last two callers. I hope they learn. They, they just talk things randomly. <laughs> I was just asking asking them. Yeah, you in the, in the process you are lecturing them, but they are not speaking uh, speaking anything from from your question. Mm. How do you call such an institution useless? They don't even appreciate what these guys yeah. are doing. Yeah. To to stand there for how many days? You, <laughs> they think it's, 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 it's easy. It's, it's a joke. It's not easy. Mm. Mm. Then they, you people must just be arrested, be arrested. <laughs> so if, if if I was given money by one of the accused, mm. I should just be arrested. Even if it's a family member, we okay take twenty thousand or a donation to whatever I have. Yeah. Then I must just be arrested. People were called in, were interrogated. Mm -hmm. It's not that people were just were not called in for, for questioning and so on. All of them that were mentioned, yeah. some were called uh, via telephone, some were, were summoned and so on. And people see that ah, this is, there's nothing here concrete that warrants uh, an, an arrest. Or mm. they, but these guys, they just come in. Uh, you, you yeah, but understand. yeah, but when people mention money, money is uh, synonymous to corruption. You know that. Yes. Yeah. So if money is involved, therefore, pick pick them up because yeah. it's about money. The, the truth is that we 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 are not saying I'm not saying the the party or or the or ACC is perfect mm. because they are talking about purple and then the 
agency and the police. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so they are mixing the three now. Yeah. There are challenges here and there, but people must affect. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. On, yeah. On on the on the prison uh, mm. prison uh, this case they they have their uh, farms farms yeah. where they produce, yeah they mm. produce maize meal. Mm-hmm. They even uh, last time I checked, they were selling uh, pigs. I think. Yeah, no, they have. Yeah, they they have a big program. Mm. Yeah, for, because I heard this guy saying they are not doing anything. They are just they no their program. Say, mm-hmm. I'm glad you you know Mr. Shawange. Some you can even bring him in the studio one day to yeah. to, to to lecture us regarding these issues. Yeah. No. We have we have heard him here before. Oh, okay. Mm. But the whole okay. thing is uh, most of the guys, they just sit there. And uh, if you find the farm that's in the Kavango, I think, uh, not everyone goes there. Oluno as well. Those who are there, they are the ones who work on those farms. I'm not quite sure of commerce. It was uh, the money, 13.8 million, that was spent on feeding them. I'm not quite yeah. sure whether this is sugar, or this is soap, or what whatever this was uh, spent because if they are producing it would actually mean that if they export then they make their own money to feed themselves but the 13.8 million is from the state yeah but then uh, mm. uh, uh, we don't know where, where the money goes now after producing this maybe it goes to the treasury yeah or probably they are the, the same food they are now maybe they are feeding themselves. You don't know. Yeah. And then the the value is, is what brought us maybe at the amount that you mentioned. Mm, mm. If we it can broken the, down here. Yeah. yeah, we we need to 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 get the facts also there. All right. Thank you so much. Well, all but, right. There we are. Zero eight three two two eight four zero one zero eight three two triple eight four zero one. You can also come through. All the voices, we welcome divergent views here. Uh, don't feel threatened. You, This is exactly why we listen and we have a conversation with you. Uh, you as listeners, you might disagree, disagree. All what I do is to try and guide the conversation. Don't feel threatened and you think you have no opinion. We all have opinions. Good morning. Hey, Uncle Wanda, good morning. Good morning, Shabumba. Yes. How is Ochoarongo? Are you back now? Uh, Ashwarongo is fine. I'm still here. Mm. It's also uh, just a... Uh, it's raining this side as well. It is raining in the day. Okay. Yeah. I just want to ask first, uh, because uh, where is the other lawyer we saw in that documentary sitting in front of the plate? Kadila Momo. Uh, I'm hardly also hearing really about him and he was also involved was he involved because because we never got to i'm not quite sure what in what involvement here because he was on the documentary yeah he was just also in the documentary like others yeah but it was a documentary right a sting op I'm not quite sure whether when it came to the role out of uh, Fish Road, whether he had a role that he played. Because if I remember the affidavits that I have seen, I don't remember seeing his name there. I don't remember that. I'm not quite sure. I need to go back and, ch- and check. Yeah, but maybe his name is just tied out to a natural death like that. I'm just asking that too. Uh, himself also, how really his name now happened to tie up of that story of Fish Road? Yes. You see, you see, when that thing up was uh, carried out, the journalists were fishing for inform- information. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So him, I don't know if we can link him to anything. Because all the affidavits that I've seen so far, I, I haven't come, come across his, his name. Though. Okay. Mm, okay, the other... Things I want to also understand is the 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 the, the, the presidential whatever national this briefing about COVID. Mm. They used to held at state house day. Yeah. I wonder if you are checking nicely in and day out. 
Those people, they are just calling these things and repeating the same things. Now we are at the fourth. But to me, okay, we have been, they have been really going on with these things of, okay, we have uh, this, uh, uh, like, uh, vaccination hesitancy from the public. Mm. But the, the same things we used to tell, why can't they come up with the new strategies? so that maybe the people can believe them. Because if you are always calling people and telling them uh, about uh, incentives and all this, uh, uh, what is false information, and there's no improvements on, also on, from your side when it's come to the approach of this thing, how really now they, 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 they know that they are going to win out the, 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 the majority of the people, because now we, we see which are the, the majority of the people are, are maybe the pro vaxxers because even the number, the statistic of the people we are getting is very low. And uh, the, the, even the figures were, which was given by the ED there, what they spend in the uh, vaccine, in the 300 million, uh, it's a lot of money. And uh, maybe now this, they seen the which they, they they bought or whatever they they, they 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 get from this it is still lying idle there and the people are not really going forward to go get vaccinated yeah but it might seem as if it's a lot of money uh do we also count the lives that were saved by vaccines let us not make any mistakes when it comes to vaccines to vaccines they might have issues here and there but honestly speaking, there could be lives that were saved. And if we dismiss them completely to say they don't work, some, for some people they work, and for others they may not have worked, but um, we cannot throw them out, out, out to say vaccines do not work. Well, I wonder we are not saying mm-hmm. the vaccine do not work, but yeah. the, the concern, my concern is here that... Uh, if they work, the majority mm. of people, they are still hesitating to go forward. Because 26 percentage is, is very low. And this campaign is started so way back. They were supposed to be at the 30% or 40 Why, mm. what so, why can't they change but their sh- strategy? Shabumba, if you look at the history of vaccines in Africa, it has been a fight for people to get vaccinated in Africa. Look at the vaccines from the beginning. And if you look at the early, early days, right, if you research, people had to run into the mountains to avoid being vaccinated against chicken pox, right? And people had to be forced to be given incentives. There is nothing new here. People were, and even school kids, they had to be given sweets so that they could be vaccinated, vaccinated. So I don't see, because there were no anti-vaxxers then like now, but still people were not, did not trust the vaccines. So if you look, if you go back, back, vaccines yeah. have been an issue all the time. So I don't know when we are going on and on about uh, vaccine hesitance and this, but history has it that Africans never wanted to be vaccinated, vaccinated. and the people had to be punished. Yes, wonder, so but... So it's the same uh, thing. Now, why, are, why, they, why then are we making this a big deal? It, it, it might become a big deal because those who are reading with uh, these COVID things, they, they, they start the state house itself. Mm. Just even imagine the, the act of the president when he was really with this himself, just to read by example how he got vaccinated and all these things. If themselves they cannot think that okay maybe they are action hmm? those people who are leading with the the COVID things even uh, the, the ministries employee or the cabinet why they can't really show the public at last that there is nothing wrong with people getting vaccinated why can't we see them going to state house with, with the vaccination cards or even to mo- to, to this COVID communication send out with, with their vaccination cards so that we can. The public here at the grounds here, they can see that oh, our leaders also, they are getting vaccinated. Where can we take the action to go? But Shepumba, they are also... Shepumba, yeah. before you go, you go on. President Hage Genko believes his life. Ne? His wife lives her life. 
you must also live your own life. So yes. the decision must be yours. They made their decisions. So you need to but, make their, your own decision without saying, him, he uh, didn't do this, he didn't do this. One of these people, they are making decisions on our life some, at some points. They just should lead us by example. <laughs> I can't convince you on that one, unfortunately. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. All right, look, look, it's like I, I, I don't know how I can explain this. But uh, if you say they must lead by example, how do you know that they also want to learn from you? Because we are just looking from the top to bottom. How do we know that they also want to learn from you? From what we do and what we say here, how do we know that they also, how do we know that they also want, how don't we know that they also want to learn from us? We, we just say they must lead by example. These are not angels. They were just like us. They also, they also go to sleep and have nightmares. They also feel pain and everything else. They are not angels. They are human beings. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Mm. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm Sam. Sam J. Yeah. Yes. What's happening? Very nice weather out here. It's very kind, yeah. Mm, the mm. teacher, birds, everyone. Even my cat is you now waving the tail. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? My time, my time is running fast here. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what is corruption? Is uh, what I'm talking about. Mm. You know, every time you are talking about corruption, but is there a definite, you know, answer for this corruption? Because corruption is often easy to recognize, yeah, but difficult to describe. Mm. Uh, generally, an ordinary person will easily recognize an act of corruption, but yeah. it is not an easy task to mm. provide mm. a comprehensive legal, moral, and yet acceptable definition of what corruption is. Yeah. Yeah, we will have uh, to look at, uh, according to maybe, because I, I was reading this book, you know, called, you know, What is Corruption? Yeah. Uh, in, the, in the Corruption Commission, which says, uh, according to uh, the government, which has been very successful in combating corruption, Mm. Practice. Mm. But they said corruption maybe can be defined as an asking, receiving, agreeing, mm -hmm. to receive, to giving, promising, offering, and any gratification as an inducement or reward to a person to do or not to do any act with corrupt yeah. intention. Yeah. Which is what I'm saying. Uh, in conclusion, mm -hmm. corruption is not a uh, rare phenomenon. Yeah. It takes many forms with different types of uh, participants, uh, yeah. settings, stakes, techniques, and different degrees of you know self uh, uh, legitimacy. Uh, which is a uh, corruption is not only about skill. Corruption can be related to abuse of power in decision-making process, too. Yeah. And probably, uh, that is what is over corruption. All right, Angor Jay. Thank okay. you so much for coming through and being my last listener to call in. You have a nice day. You go and rest, my All right, thank you so much. Now, I was talking about the vaccine hesitance in Africa. You can read about it is there. Because in Cameroon, for example, in the 1990s, the immunization campaign uh, it was sabotaged by unfounded beliefs that the vaccines would make girls sterile. That was one. And the oral polio vaccination uh, initiatives were boycotted in East Africa in the 1990s and in Northern Nigeria in the 200s. And a mass deworming program was rejected in several regions of Ghana in 2007. And 16 people were killed in 2009 in Mozambique after being accused of spreading co cholera rather than preventing it. And recently, the uh, COVID-19 vaccine trials in South Africa as well. 
And don't forget that the in 2019, WHO listed vaccine hesitancy as one of the top 10 greatest threats to global health. So where vaccines are concerned, there is always a resistance. And the people would run into mountains. And those who uh, had uh, uncles and aunties who lived during those times, they would run into the mountains for them not to be vaccinated. vaccinated and then they would be asked to come down after being offered incentives. So there is nothing new here. So I don't know why we are going on about vaccine this and vaccine that. This, these things, they happen. And always, and vaxxers have been there. So it's not like we have got something new. Like what Ecclesiastes says, what was, it is, and it will be. Good morning, chicken and How's baby. Wanda? Mm. Morning, Wanda. How are you doing? Ah, proper. Yourself? The weather is kind. Yeah, no, it's very super. Yeah, it's very nice. Ay, 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 ay. It's like it's, it's, it's a kind of, you know, what do you call that? It's what, what, moist. It's like it's, yeah. care, it's caressing you and you can easily fall asleep. Yeah. Yep. Dozing and Today stuff. Oversleep. Or you can easily make an unplanned baby. Yeah. Yep. Baby, talking about making baby. Oh, come on. That's a name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about literal baby. We are yet to find out if he shoots blanks or not. Baby, mm-hmm. now yes. is a good time we're not, to try. We're not going to do that in the studio, are we? <laughs> Guys, that conversation is beyond me. Yeah. Thank you. All right, it's a goodbye. Let's make another session tomorrow, and then we see how it works.